we may see a big change in the sophomore social studies requirement. This week on TCSN, we look into Roseville's new rival and update you on two spring sports teams that have made playoffs. An RHS freshman Taekwondo athlete is competing overseas. All this and more in an all new TigerCast May 10th, 2016. From Eye of the Tiger, this is TigerCast News. Broadcasting from Studio 403 in Roseville High School. Good morning and welcome to an all new TigerCast News. I'm Nathan Benicio. And I'm Nick Chang. AP Human Geography is targeted for a big change next school year. Austin Daly has more on the story. Currently, AP Human Geography is just an elective. Next year, however, it may fulfill the sophomore history requirement, just like AP European History and World Studies do now. It's just one of those courses that's caught on nationwide. And the three biggest states where it's grown are Texas, California, and Florida, where it's really beginning to take off. Um, California, when it first started, had you know a few thousand kids, and now we're, we're up in the tens of thousands. This will give students a third option as to what history class they will take as sophomores. Three classes is probably better because you get a wider range so people don't feel like if they are overwhelmed by the AP that they can they only can take world studies but then if they get more of an option they can choose what they want to do. We'll keep you updated on the state of the class. The deadline to fill out emergency card information is coming up. Students can complete the card information through Aries portal by this summer according to nurse Dale Edgerton. The district is trying to go paperless and hence the electronic uh, registration. So uh, each family is supposed to have a parent portal. And it has to be done in the parent portal because that was a mistake last year. We found students trying to do it for their families in their student portal and they don't get access to the same material. Last year, only around half the students filled out the emergency card information. Last week, many students struggled to log onto the school Wi-Fi from their phones. This was because all students had to change their passwords and could only do so from a computer or Chromebook. Now we go over to Josh Carson with sports. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of TCSN. I'm Josh Carson. Sports are meant to be competitive, but who wouldn't want more competitive flair added into any given matchup? That's why we start this week by exploring Roseville's new rival in the CVC. Aaron Rye has a story. Tiger Cast Sports Network's presentation of Roseville High School varsity boys basketball. It's a matchup, CVC league matchup. Just about two years have passed since Roseville first entered the Capital Valley Conference, or CVC. The move left Roseville with new competitors, but without its main and most popular one, Wood Creek. With two years in the CVC nearly complete, the question is simple. Who is the main rival now? Our rivals now, Oakmont, they're close and they still have, still are competitive with us. Well, it's really hard to pick one team because of how competitive different sports are in our league. So for football, I'd gotta say it'd be Oakmont. Oakmont, since they're pretty local, I'd say they're our rival for football. Um, basketball and volleyball, I'd say is Whitney. Whitney has typically been a top seed with us for volleyball, and they're very competitive when it comes to basketball. So what makes a rival? Fan attendance, competitiveness, or proximity? Tell me why Oakmont is the game that you guys got up for the most this year. Um, definitely because they're close and uh, we don't play Wood Creek anymore so it's kind of our town thing and you know who's boss. More people come out to the Whitney game because it's more competitive and it's, a, it's a probably a lot fun, it's a more fun game to watch than rather playing Oakmont because Oakmont's not really as good as Whitney. I think proximity plays a big role in considering a different team our rival because Ponderosa typically has had a close, couple close games with us for basketball and um, those have been some of the best games that I've been to as a tire cage leader. But um, because of the distance, it's hard to bring a lot of people out to the games. So who will be the main rival for years to come? And hit it, Tommy Edwards! Probably going to be Whitney. Um, they're a pretty good team in football, very good at volleyball, and very good at basketball as well. And if we can reach their level of competitiveness within the next year and the next couple of years, I think they'll be our main rival. And of course, you can always tune into our live streams at IveTheTigerNews.com to watch your Roseville Tigers square off against the CVC in the 2016-17 season. 
Hey, before we talk too much about next year, though, certain spring sports teams have punched their ticket into this postseason, one of them being girls soccer, who are in the number nine seed in the Division II CIF SAC Joaquin Section Championships and will play number eight Tracy tonight. Also, boys volleyball got themselves the number one seed in the Division I CIF SAC Joaquin Section Championships and will play the winner of number eight Yuba City and number nine Burbank at home on Thursday night. That game will be broadcast live at I of the Tiger news.com so make sure to tune in and support your fellow tigers and that's it on your home for realsville high school sports top plays breakdowns and more tiger cast sports network tcsn and now we go over to some info on this year's graduation make your final memories as a roseville high school tiger last a lifetime Available on DVD and Blu-ray at the Student Web Store. Presented by TigerCast. What's up? My name is Jeremy Frisch and this is Tiger Talk. This week we're talking about a new law that would raise the legal age for smoking and vaping to 21. So we asked students' opinions about this. Let's go. Okay, so what do you guys think about the legal age for smoking and vaping being raised to 21? Uh, I think it's stupid. I think you should be allowed to do it whenever you want to. I don't really care. Why? Uh, because vape. Yeah. Do you vape a lot? Not really. No. <laughs> I think it should go back to 18. <laughs> Thank you. I think it should be lowered. <laughs> Let's 12. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah let's be get like some kids in on this. <laughs> you know, I think that uh, that's probably good because, you know, drinking and smoking kind of go hand in hand, and that's no, probably. I think vaping should be allowed in schools, in classrooms. They should have a class. <laughs> what do you think about the legal age of smoking and vaping being raised to 21? Um, I think that's not right because I believe that people should have a chance, try things, and. Um, I'm not too opposed to the idea. Um, I know that you have to be 21 to buy beer and to buy alcohol, so maybe if you have to be 21 to buy cigarettes, it might not be a bad thing. And do you smoke or vape? I don't know. But you have a favorite vape flavor? or? No, I don't. What kind of vape flavors would 12 year olds uh, vape? Um, water Skittles, bubblegum, yeah. sunflower seeds. Some have kids. <laughs> uh, Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, yo, what's up? You guys look like some cool kids. You guys want to smoke or vape after school? Well, I 100%. <laughs> okay, too bad, because you have to be 21 now. Damn. Boom. That's it for Tiger Talk, everybody. Now back to Nick Chang with more news. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Freshman Joshua Rebello competed in Germany for Taekwondo. We go to Justine Madrid for the story. Joshua Rebello just got back from Germany, where he competed in Taekwondo as a black belt. The organization that takes me was, it's called AAU, and they do other sports, but I did it for Taekwondo, and you fight at nationals. It's a fighting sport, so it's a lot of kicking, not a lot, not a lot of punching, there's some punching, but it's mostly kicking, like kicking to the body and kicking to the face, and you can't really kick anywhere below the belt. I'm a black belt, so there's about 10 or 15 different belts, and you start off at white, and you slowly work your way up. Rebello participates in Taekwondo for friends, to stay active, and because of all the sports he played as a child, this is the one that stuck. I do it so to keep me active, and you can make a lot of friends doing it. I did a lot of different sports. None of them really worked out. I did like soccer, t-ball, baseball, the normal things you try as a kid. But none of them really stuck. I, didn't, I wasn't really good at them. And, but Taekwondo just really stuck. It was really fun for me. Joshua hopes to make it to the Olympics one day. We wish him good luck on this journey. The VAPA Festival is happening tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. past the front gates of RHS. Multiple clubs will be hosting like dance, culinary, band, drama, and international club. That's it for us today on TigerCast News. And remember, we're always on at thetigernews.com. See you next time. <laughs>